Okay, here are the directions for your speaking final. So you want to please um, come to the conference room in front of the library a couple minutes before your scheduled time. They probably will run a little bit ahead. And come and earn as many points as you can. It's 20 points of your final exam. So if you can earn 10 points, you can earn 20 points. As many as you can help you out for your final exam. So if you earn 20 points, you start the exam with a 100. If you earn 10 points, you start the exam with a 90. So you want to make sure it's all about, the whole exam is all about just adding as many as you can. Remember, if you just get to 65, then you get your high school credit for being in a junior high class, and you get to move up. So if you're not on the schedule, the schedule is only for June 5th. I didn't want to complicate it by putting out anything else in there. I will be calling you out of another class sometime today or in the near future. So you need to be prepared any time from June 5th on. It could be any day. Um, if you want to prepare yourself, there are many things you can do that we have already gone over in class, but I will put them here as well. So finish your packets with the speaking situation. So. All the situations that I could ask you are in here with sample questions. You're going to work on these with a partner. You're going to turn them in for a grade. That is awesome practice for you to be well prepared for your speaking final. Um, also, you can finish creating your video. So then when you go here and you have your video that you're uh, creating for each one. So this is super important because I want you to, you can use your papers, but I want you to, to say it out loud, to practice, to feel what it, what it seems like to, to ask or to answer a question with a sentence starter and some details. The best you can do with that, if you can only give me three words, give me three words. If you can give me eight words, give me eight words. Just remember, the name of the game is just give me as much as you can and we'll work from there. So the other thing, too, is study what the questions are asking. If that is something that's hard for you, then, of course, I have a Quizlet. It's in your folder. It's linked here. So go ahead and practice this. Go through whatever here works for you. Make sure that you spend some time on it. You won't be any better if you don't do any practice for it. So you want to make sure I have all these uh, resources for you here. Um, here are some sentence starters. So you're not just going to give me, if you give me just a one word answer, if I say, um, qu'est-ce que tu aimes manger? And you say pizza. Okay, well, I know at least you understood my question, but if you say, oh, j'adore la pizza. Well, that's awesome. You could also say, j'adore la, la pizza, mais je préfère le sandwich au jambon. All things you can say. Um, you just need to make sure you just put them together like we've been doing all year. Sentence starter in details. Review your old vocabulary. We've tried to do this all year. Like I said, there's no formal review. We've been going back all year long. So review your old vocabulary. They're all linked here. Um, and do the ones for the situations that we're practicing for a final. Um, and here are some games for review as well. So if that's how you review, then do that doesn't have to be in class. You have access to all of this at any time. So it really depends on you and how well you want to be prepared. So here's the schedule down here. Remember, you need to don't be a no-show because you don't want to start your exam with a zero. So go ahead and, and show up here um, a couple minutes before. And then again, I will be calling some of the rest of you out of your classes. So Use your class time wisely, prepare well, use study hall, use after school, use advisory, do it at home. Let's finish strong. There's not a lot left of school, and I know you can do it, and let's get you past and moving on.